Okay, people, it is cooking time again, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am because this week I get to do something completely different. Fish. I'm a pescatarian mostly, so I've been really enjoyed doing the puddings, but I've been really looking forward to doing a fish dish. And many thanks to uh, Paul and Hilary for sorting this out for us. And I don't have just any fish. I have got some of the most sought after fish on the Isle of Man. Line caught fish from actual Captain Beardy. Now, some of you might not know who Captain Beardy is. This is Luke Corkill, uh, who, along with Lindsay and Isla, have been selling their fish, line caught fish and scallops through Bryrad's Veg Shed. And so yesterday, for instance, I've got the information here on their Facebook page, they had Super Sustainable Saturday with Bryrad and Captain Beardy. So they had uh, freshly pickled veg, live scallops, fresh line caught fish, all down at Ramsey Key. All of it sold out completely so i am very fortunate to have what i have today and let me show you what that is so let's come to the fish first huge scallops look at those fish there as well and that is calic because we're going to be making calic fish cakes topped with scallops some fabulous local potatoes we have uh, Isle of Man Creamery butter, Isle of Man Creamery milk, some lemons there. Uh, look at this veg which has come from Bry Rad. So local asparagus, who knew? Parsley as well. And then underneath all this fabulous veg, some eggs from uh, Billig Farm. So that's from Paul and Hillary. Huge thanks to them for those eggs. You might notice a few more under here as well. They've given me one or two to play with. <laughs> and these are pullet eggs, which are slightly smaller. So these are from when the hens are very young, basically. And of course, they're not grown up enough to be able to lay proper big eggs like these ones in here. So Hillary likes to call the little eggs learner eggs. So this is one of the large eggs, which was in the half dozen there. This is one of the large eggs. And then if you compare it in size to one of the pullet eggs, there is quite a difference, but understandably so, because they're new hens. They're only just learning to lay, hence the term learner egg. Love it, Hilary. So I'll start by poaching the fish, poaching the calic, uh, a little bit of seasoning in there and some milk, uh, and then I'm going to make up some mash to put together with the fish, flake the fish through that mash then, and, uh, and then I will get the veggies on the go, and then last but not least, I will cook up the scallops. This is a very fancy dish. Is poaching in some Isle of Man Creamery's milk. There's a few bay leaves in there, uh, some black pepper, and I'm now going to take this opportunity while that is happening to get my spuds prepped. So the potatoes are bubbling away, ready to be mashed and added to the flaked fish. I just want to take a second here though to appreciate Bry Rad. Look at the size of this spring onion that has been supplied from Bry Rad's, Rad's veg shed absolutely stonking loving your work there bry uh, and also i've got that beautiful local asparagus and tender stem broccoli which is all going to be served up with these fish cakes with the scallops on top all my favorite veg and my favorite fish too thanks to uh, captain beardy aka mackerel man so the mash is mashed. It was recommended by Lindsay that if it was a little bit dry to add some of the remaining liquor as such from the poached fish. So I just put a little bit in, but she says don't go mad because you don't want the potato too sloppy. So you've got to be quite careful because it's going to have the uh, fish mixed through it. And then add some of the local spring onion. I'm going to try and do this with one hand while filming. Let's see if we can do this. She says again, not too much of the onion because you don't want to overpower the flavour of the fish. So I'll just start with that much and mix that through. That's the parsley as well there from Bry. So let's just mix that through, see how much we've got there. I think that's probably enough to be honest. Add an egg, so here we go. Can she do the one-handed split? Hey! I assume this is just what you do, just sort of stir it through. I'm almost ready for the flaked fish, which I have just here. I've got to make sure that uh, it's about 50-50 blend between the fish and the potato. So I'm going to stop videoing now so I can actually make sure I get this right. I'll come back to you in a sec. Try not to waste this beautiful calic. There's a little bit of the milk left in there. So I'm just going to very gently flake that through. Mix gently, shape into fish cakes and chill for an hour. Do you know, I think I can do that. So I added a little bit of potato as I went along to make the mix about even. And what I've done is I've tried to keep the fish 
in fairly large chunks because I like my fish cake like that where you actually get a chunk of fish and you can taste it. So I hope I've got the blend right. I'm going to make them into fish cakes now. I do make big fish cakes, I have to say. <laughs> Made these giant, five giant fish cakes, which I, I'm going to be cooking shortly, but they do have to go in the fridge now for an hour just to cool and I'm guessing to sort of get them to hold their shape a bit. But look at those beautiful bits of callig in there mixed with that lovely parsley and the spring onion from Bry as well. Now I've got to try and make hollandaise, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I've not done it before and I know it's difficult. Uh, the pan of about to be simmering water and the butter over there is uh, on a low heat. It says melt, but do not burn. So melt on a low heat. So that's happening. I have my heat proof bowl here. I have my eggs from Balig Farm. So I want two egg yolks. Uh, then we're going to have the vinegar, which has been supplied by Luke, by Mackerel Man himself. He's supplied. And can I just say... Langoustine pate, hey? Fancy. <laughs> I'm joking. So we've got lemon as well. They've supplied everything ready for this. So in theory, nothing should go wrong. Fingers crossed, people. So I'm about to crack open my two large free-range eggs from Balik Farm. Uh, I noticed Howard last week when he was cracking eggs did the one-handed method and actually separated his yolks from his white whites just using his hand. I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to use a technique that I remember from school, which is... Crack the egg and then use the shell to separate it. So initially you can just allow the white to drip out of the shell like this and then pass the yolk from one side to the other until all the white is sort of dripped off. Very clever. Use a bit of the sharp bit of shell to drop that off. So there we go. There's our yolk separated. Look at those beautiful yolks. So what do I have to do now? I'm just turning over here to look at the recipe. I have to... Make sure the butter's melting, which is, and then I'm going to start whisking these eggs. Okay, so I'm going to put this over the slowly simmering water. I am very nervous about this, I have to say. I have balloon whisk in hand. I need to start whisking this. Doesn't look like the water's doing very much, I have to say, but we'll keep going. It says to whisk this and hope that the eggs don't scramble. Uh, whisk in the white wine vinegar. So I need my dessert spoon of white wine vinegar, which I think is about that. And keep whisking. Got to be really careful that the eggs don't scramble here. That's whisked in, so this is good. And then start adding the melted butter. Okay, here we go. Drizzle it in, it says. Whisking all the time. I'm whisking, I'm whisking. I'm drizzling, I'm drizzling. And the result is supposed to be a smooth, thick sauce. Nothing scrambled yet. Fingers crossed. Okay. It sort of looks like a smooth, thick sauce, doesn't it? There we go. I think I might have just made hollandaise. You could say, I've popped my hollandaise cherry. <laughs> now I'm going to add a bit of lemon to the hollandaise just to get a little bit of zesty flavour to it. So this is my dad's brilliant lemon contraption that he bought me. It makes squeezing a lemon, even with one hand, <laughs> quite easy. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of lemon juice in there. There we go. And then I'll give it a taste. There's a bit of salt and pepper in there now as well. Don't worry, I have washed my hands. Oh, that's perfect. Time to cook up a fish cake. It's only me that's eating this tonight, so I'm just going to do the one for now. Got my pan hot and ready. So let's do this thing. They've shaped nicely and they held their shape in the, uh, in the old fridge there. Are we ready? Listen to it sizzle. There it goes. So we're going to get it nice and brown on each side. Uh, it says to uh, fry on each side until nice and golden brown and heated through. And then we're going to put them in the oven while we do the veg and the scallops. And look, there's my hollandaise sauce. I'm so excited. Kate is keeping warm in the oven. I have fried asparagus and tender stem broccoli on the pan with some butter and salt and pepper. 
And on this griddle, which just has a little bit of a oil and seasoning on it, I am going to put these fabulous scallops. So I will do, as Lindsay suggested, like the numbers on the face of a clock. I'm only going to do three for myself, so 12. Three. <laughs> okay, so three on. Get some of that row as well. Okay. Two to three minutes on that one side. Just one more bit of row on there. These are not going to be even cooked, but hey. And then I'm going to flip them over and uh, one to two minutes on the other side. Fish cake, lovely on the veggies there. Scallops to the side. I'm going to squeeze on some lemon juice. Here we go. A little bit of lemon on the fish cake and a little bit over the scallops there. Hollandaise. Just over the fish cake. Not too much. There we go. And now for the moment of truth. Is it all cooked properly? Mmm. That is absolutely spectacular. So fresh, so tasty. So much going on there with the calig, beautifully fresh calig, beautifully, beautifully fresh and enormous king scallops there. The veg is gorgeous. The little bit of lemon in there through the hollandaise as well. Who knew I could do hollandaise sauce? Who knew I could cook scallops properly? But it worked. The, the uh, recipe is very easy to follow. And I have to say, Macroman, aka Captain Beardy, and your lovely family, you have done a pescatarian's proud. Fresh local fish, fresh local veg, line caught fish as well. Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs>